Am I being paranoid by all of this? Well, this is what happened to me this year. Right like that. Once it's in, all of this fits into this. All I can say is that thief was lucky he didn't walk in that room with me completely naked because you just can't unsee that. Hi, it's Eunice from Theory of Simple. Thank you for coming to my channel today. If you're new, welcome. My channel is all about everything organization and travel. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back and visiting with me today. Today's video is about how to keep you and your valuables safe and secure while you travel. There's probably nothing that is more ominous or uneasy feeling than feeling like you or your valuables are not safe when you travel. And I know many people say, well, I don't carry any valuables, I don't care. Thieves don't know what you're carrying and what you're not carrying. They're just opportunists looking for something to take that they can fence and get away with. So even though you may not be carrying anything that's valuable, it doesn't mean that you are not out of danger or that your things are not gonna get damaged while they rifle through your stuff to try to find out what you have that's valuable. So today's video, I'm gonna go through some of the ways I layer on some protections to keep myself and my valuables safe while I'm traveling. For those of you who have watched my other videos on my everyday carry or my EDC, you know that I'm pretty much prepared for a lot of things while I'm home. Some of that has to change when I'm traveling because obviously you're not gonna be able to get through TSA with certain things and you'll have to either check a bag or not. I'm gonna go through some of those things first because my layer of security starts from the moment I leave my home and I get into an Uber or get into a car to the moment I get back into my house. So I'm gonna kinda go through this and how my thought process is with this. So let's start with the number one thing is planning about how I'm going to pack my things and what I'm going to use to pack those things. And that number one thing is my suitcase. And I know a lot of you might be thinking it's a suitcase. Well, it can also be a place to keep your valuables and keep them safe because I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to break into a suitcase. This is an expensive to me suitcase, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to break into it. Just gonna take this pencil basically, put it at the zipper here and push in, right like that. Once it's in, I'm exposed. I can get everything, I can take the zipper all the way around and get it out. The other thing is, once they break in and take what they want, they can take the zipper, pull it back, re-zip it, and it doesn't even look like they got into your suitcase. Now, some suitcase manufacturers make a really nice zippered area that makes it very difficult, even with a nail file, to get into. But if it's expandable, like this one is, all they have to do is open this up, take a knife and go in here, slide it around, and they're able to get right into your whole suitcase. So you saw I was able to break into that suitcase in about 10 seconds. Literally, it, it just took me like 10 seconds to get into that suitcase. Now, a suitcase like this, it's all aluminum. It doesn't have any zippers. It has some really stable TSA locks. There's no expansion panel. So there's no a good, easy way to get into this suitcase without a pry bar or something like that. Yes, they could probably pry this open and get into it, but it's gonna take some time, it's gonna make some noise. Um, it's not something that the thieves are looking for. They're looking for a quick in and out, get what they need, get the hell out of the hotel room. So this suitcase for me does the trick. It's like a little mini vault, so that's why I carry this as my carry-on of choice. The other thing I think about before I leave my home is how am I gonna protect my identity, my credit cards and things like that. And that is with these RFID sleeves for your credit card. And I also have one for my passport. And yes, it's really beat up, but it works. And I always carry one on me because that way if I take a credit card out of my RFID wallet and I put it in my pants pocket or somewhere else, I at least have a way to protect that credit card when it's not in the wallet. So these are a couple of things that I always make sure that I have with me when I travel. I also do not use any unsecured public Wi-Fi because as you know, that is a great way to breach and get into your things. I generally just use my phone or my iPad 
uh, use the data on those lines to do any sort of upload and downloads. That keeps me a lot safer. I'm looking into a VPN. I don't have one yet, but those would work really well to allow me to go anywhere and upload and download with security. So I'm still researching that right now. And as soon as I have one, I'll let you know and I'll make a video. And if you're someone who travels a lot, that might be something that you want to invest in is a VPN um, if you don't want to use up all the data on your phone lines. So those things also help keep me and my identity safe. Many of you use these little TSA locks and it's a layer of protection. It's a great way to lock zippers and things like that. But as you saw in that other video, even though that's locked, I can get into anything with a zipper. But if you have nothing else, I would recommend just a small lock to lock up zippers and things like that when things are with you even or in your room so that someone doesn't just have the ability to easily zip it open and then slip in and get something and get out of your room. So it's just one layer of protection, but I would add a few more layers. Many of you have asked about this. This is my vault. Um, it is a locking bag that I can use in a multitude of ways, but there's also a lot of things in this bag that are going to help protect me and my valuables, so let's go through it. All right, before I get into what's in my vault, I'd like you to hit the like button and the subscribe button for me. That really does help the algorithm on YouTube promote my videos, so if you like them and you think other people would like them, that would really help me out a lot. But without any more ado, let's get into what's in my portable vault. All of this fits into this. I want to go over some features of it though to let you know why I chose this particular vault because there's a number, number of ones out there but I like this because A, it doesn't look like some plastic vault and it doesn't have that little wire that can be easily cut with a pair of wire cutters. This material is cut resistant and pretty much impervious. I mean if you had some really sharp maybe like I don't know I don't even know if like carpet cutters would get through this. It's, it's very stiff and it's something that is going to protect what's inside of here very well. Now you can see here that it has numbers here to make it a locking safe and you're thinking, well, heck, I could just walk off with this thing. Not if I've locked it onto something like a closet rod. And yeah, you could say, yeah, well, they could just take the closet rod. Well, if they wanna take everything off the closet rod and then take the closet rod out and slide this thing off, yeah, they might be able to do that, but I also have an air tag inside of this and they can't get the air tag out without opening this and good luck with that. It's going to allow me to track where this is and hopefully catch the thieves and get my stuff back. So that is also why I chose this. And everything that I need to protect myself and my valuables while I'm traveling is right here. So let's go through all of the things that are on here, in here and about this that get me protected. I've shown many of you this before. This is in that side pocket. This is a special door lock that fits in the side of the door and then you put this in here. And once it's in there, the door cannot be open from the outside, even if they have a key to the door because this prevents it from actually opening into your room. And so at night, when you're in your room, this is a great way to make yourself feel really secure that no one's just gonna come in. Um, I've said this before and I've used this in another video, you can't get out of your room as well. So if you want to get out of your room, you're going to have to take this off of here and then you're going to have to take it out of the door. Um, and it doesn't work when you're not in the room. This is only for when you're in the room to make you feel a little more safe. The next thing I carry are these, I call them, I guess, window slide locks. They are special little locks that prevent your windows or doors from sliding any further than they can when they're locked up like this. So this will lock on to the edge of the window frame and you'll tighten it down. And what this does is the window can't open. Um, yeah, could they break the window or whatever? Again, you're just trying to layer on some security. This is also great if you have pets or kids and you don't want the door or window open anymore so they don't fall out or get out. Um, and you wanna keep a little air in your room or something, these are great to have. Or you want it completely closed and you don't want them opening it this little key device will lock it all up. I carry two of these, so if there's a door and a window, I can keep them both locked. These work on sliding or double hung windows and sliding doors, a great little tool to have. You can see the flex safe once it's open has a zipper here. That's why it can't get open from here. You can't get to the zipper and open it until you open up this. So let's see what I have in here. The first thing I have is an Amazon Alexa. 
And I also have a smart plug. That way I can unplug a light, plug in my smart plug, and then I can use my Echo to actually control this or use my phone to control it. So if I wanna come into my room at night and it's dark and I want it to be light, I can turn this on, or I want it to make it look like someone's in my room. This allows me to control a light in my room. Hey Alexa, turn off bedroom. Hey Alexa, turn on bedroom. I can have it play music. I can have it tell me stupid jokes. I can have it read me the news. I can have it tell me the weather. I can also have her tell me, hey Alexa, what's the traffic like going from my home now to Oakland International Airport? At the moment, traffic from home to Oakland International Airport at one airport drive looks a little sluggish. The fastest route takes about 39 minutes via CA 238 and I-880. Thank you, Alexa. So it gives me information. Like I said, I use it every day in my home. It just makes sense to have that with me. And again, give me a little bit of extra protection. All right, the next thing I have is another lock. Because yes, this is a great piece of luggage and it'll lock up, but it also will just roll away outside of my room. This is going to allow me to lock everything up and I can lock it to like a shower or something like that. So it's, yes, could they clip this off and take it? Yeah, they could, but then they're gonna look at this suitcase and think, oh, this is gonna be so much work to get into this, it's just not worth it. So I do carry it just in case, or like you said, you're going to the beach and you're locking up you know, a purse or something. It's just a little extra layer of protection and it pulls out quite long. So I can even use it to lock up a bike or something like that. Like, like I said, anything helps. Nothing's foolproof, but everything helps. I have my jewelry and stuff in little bags here, and I also have my prescription medication. I keep it in a little zipper bag, and I keep the little prescription tag from the bottle in here, so it shows me what I have, what my dosage is, what my refills are, and things like that. I know a lot of people don't think about locking up their medication, but honestly, thieves will go for things like this. They can sell it on the market, and also that makes it that you're out of your medication if they take it for your trip and that can be really dangerous for you. So I keep my medications and things in here. It also allows me to use the then um, to lock up in the bathroom. I can put it over, let's say the, uh, the, the, the towel bar and lock it in there. So unless they're gonna remove the whole shower door or the whole towel bar, they're not gonna get to this thing. So uh, just another layer of protection. Now I know what you're thinking. Eunice, why in the world would I need to bring all that stuff with me? I'm not afraid of being, you know, robbed or thieves, or I don't carry anything valuable. Well, thieves don't know that you're not carrying anything valuable. They just know there's an opportunity to possibly get something valuable and you just might be in the way. So one of, all of these things are just layers of protection. There's nothing foolproof here that's going to stop you from being attacked or robbed or anything like that. Thieves are opportunists. They're looking for the quick way, the easy way to get in and out most of the time. So that's what you're trying to do. You're just trying to Keep an honest man honest, if so to speak, or just make sure that you've got a layer of protection. You might be wondering, why would I carry another phone with me? Because this phone is going to be your free webcam to your room. You're going to put an app on here called Alfred. You'll also put it on your other device, and you're gonna set this one up in your room as a camera, and you're going to be able to watch everything that's going on in your room and get notified if there's movement. I'm gonna show you a test here. I'm gonna walk in front of this camera. Now you'll see on my phone that I got a notification that something just happened. And you can use this if you're alone. You can use it if you've got your kids in the room. You can use it as a baby monitor. It just gives you some layer of protection to say, hey, someone's in my room. You could call the front desk and say, somebody's walked into my room. I'm not there. Can you please go check on it? And you can talk to them through this as well. So it's just another layer of protection to have so that you have some sense of security when you're traveling. And the last thing I have is an Apple AirTag that is in a waterproof container because if I'm by the beach or I'm by the pool, I'm gonna to want to make sure that it doesn't get wet and become destroyed. And it's just on this little um, hook so I can put it and take it out of here, put it in a purse or whatever. But that way when it's in here, they can't get it out once this is closed. And I'm gonna be able to follow wherever this goes if someone decides to take it off a closet rod or somehow is able to make off with it. So another layer of protection is having an Apple AirTag. 
All right, so now I'm in my room. I've got my Echo set up. I've got my luggage lock. Everything's set, right? I'm all good. Now I want to go down to the beach or the pool, and that's where this comes in handy. This thing is going to allow me to lock it onto a beach chair so that if I am... Okay, I'm just going to tell you a story here. I'm just going to tell it. I was in Mexico. I'd eaten some bad food. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, but I went down to the pool, and all of a sudden, I am just not feeling good. And... I run off to the pool bathroom, right, which is just, you know, a little ways away, but it's off my chair into the hotel, into the bathroom. And I sat down on that toilet. I thought, oh, my God, I just left my phone and my whole purse just sitting out there. I had thrown a towel over it, but I thought anybody could just, like, grab that towel and walk off. And when you're in those pool situations, everybody's moving chairs around and taking things off of chairs. Nobody would have probably even given it a second thought. But had I had this, I would have locked this onto the back of the chair with my phone and my wallet or anything. Even my room key could be in here. Two things that keeps it safe. Also, no one's just going to take my chair because you know how it is at these resorts. People just start taking chairs. I could say, no, this is locked on the chair. This is my chair. Thank you very much. And all of my things would stay safe in here because unless you're going to walk off with that whole chair at the resort, you're not going to get anything out of this. It's just too hard for anybody to try to get anything out of this. So, you know, it's like they say when you're running away from a bear, I just have to be faster than you. They're going to eat you. I just need to be safer than you. They're going to go to the next room and break into whatever. They're going to look at my stuff and be like, ah, she's got everything locked up. I love this pepper spray because it has multiple tools in it. For example, this is a seat belt cutter. As you can see right here, there's a blade in here. It'll allow me to go ahead and cut a seat belt. It also has an end here that if I needed to puncture glass, I could use it to puncture glass. And here is the pepper spray. So it's a three-in-one tool, but you can only take this if you're doing checked luggage. This is another favorite multi-tool that I have. I've talked about this in my hiking video. I like it because it has a clip. I can clip it on my pants and get to it quickly. So as soon as I get it in my hand, I have a weapon here or, that I can use to gouge or to scratch something by using this pry bar. It also gives me some substantial weight behind my knuckles. So if I want to drive a, a punch, it gives me some protection to my knuckles. Again, though, if you're going to be carrying carry-on only, this is only for checked luggage. So these two things are great but only for checked luggage. When I leave my house any day, I always have multi-tools and keys with me, but I have to change it up when I'm doing carry-on only. My keys I separate, and once I leave my house, I put them in a zipper bag and put them away. This I keep with me to carry on to the plane. It allows me a few things and let me go through them. The number one thing I carry is this little elastic wristband with a little keychain thing on it. It allows me to put things on my wrist and leave it dangle so my hands are free, but also give me quick access. For example, if I were to carry this mace uh, tool with me, I would have it here. If it dropped out of my hand, I can get to it quickly and then get to it to spray and it's not just floundering and falling all over the ground. So that gives me quick access to things. On this, I like to put a little carabiner so I can carry a few things on this. So again, if I have my hands full, I can put it on my wrist. One of the main things I carry is this multi-tool. This is by Leatherman and it does not have a knife. It does, however, have um, a few little pliers and it has a wire cutter. It also has um, a little tiny pair of tweezers right here that I can use. Um, believe it or not, if you're pulling out ticks, that thing works really well. It also has a pair of scissors, which is, this is the thing I use the most, I think, is the scissors. When I'm wanting to cut something, um, like a tag or something off, these scissors are the things that I use the most. And it also has this little nail file that is, you know, a file, but it also has a fairly decent point. I mean, if you needed to use it for self-defense, could you? Yes, you could put it in your hand like this and use it as a self-defense tool. This also fits well into the hand for driving a punch and you can use that. But again, you'd have to fiddle with it and get it open. But um, it's something that, you know, since you're traveling, if that's all you can carry, that's just all it is and it's all you're going to be able to carry. So this uh, little multi tool is the one you will have to take it out of your purse or backpack, lay it in the TSA bin, or they're going to make you search your purse.
The next thing I carry is this seat belt cutter and window breaker. Because if I'm traveling and I'm not taking this with me that has everything, I'm going to want to be able to cut my seat belt through the blade and break a window here. And this is something that if I'm renting a car or even traveling with someone, I have that just as an extra measure of safety. I also have another multi-tool. This has a little bottle opener, a pry bar, mini screwdrivers, but it's also, um, there's another screwdriver here. This can be used as a weapon as well. Something that can scratch, that's pretty sharp, or to be able to hold this way and scratch so I can get to something without having to open up something else. These are great tools. If you're taking a walk and you feel like you need a little something with you, this is great. And then the last thing I take is this light. This light is amazing. It has an amazing bright beam and different colors of lights and flashing lights. This even has a UV light. So if I'm gonna be looking for like, I don't know, human matter stains or whatever, or if it's something where it's UV light, I can use that. It also has many modes of lights here. I'm not going to shine this up at the camera because it is actually so bright that you could actually blind someone. So it can be used as a self-defense tool. It'll light up a room great. Um, if you shine this in someone's eyes, it is probably going to blind them, at least temporarily if it's quick, or blind them. I wouldn't shine it in, a kid, in eyes, and I would not let your kids play with this. Do not let your kids play with this flashlight. Um, the other thing about this flashlight is it's magnetic, so I can have it magnetized to things. You see it just even fell and came right back up here. It's magnet on the back as well as magnet on the side here. So I can use it to put things that are metal and if I need to shine the light, but another great tool to have. Am I being paranoid by all of this? Well, this is what happened to me this year. I was staying in a hotel. I went to breakfast, but I forgot my phone. So I came back into my room to get it. And within about 15 seconds, a man walked into my room walked right into my room, no knocking, nothing. Even though I had a do not disturb sign on my door, he looked complete, completely surprised when he opened the door and saw me there and I said, can I help you? He said, oh, I, I, uh, I was here to fix your TV. I said, my TV's not broken. Oh, I, I must have the wrong room. Yeah, you got the wrong room all right, because I'm in the room. Called down to the front desk. They said they didn't send anyone up to my room to fix the TV. There was some construction going on at the hotel. This person had construction boots on, a pair of jeans, a t-shirt, and a jacket. He must have had a, a key that would allow him to access rooms. And he probably was watching my routine, going to breakfast at the same time every day, eating breakfast down there, and then coming back to my room. But he was not expecting that I was gonna come back that quickly because I'd forgotten my phone. So break up your routines, but also keep yourself, just that do not disturb sign is not gonna prevent somebody from coming into your room. But if you have TVs on, if you sound like you're in the room, things like that, and you have things locked up, it's just going to make the thief look at that and say, this is too much work, I'm gonna move on to the next room. It's gonna keep you a little more protected. The other thing is being aware of your surroundings and making sure that you're not looking like a mark. Have some confidence, have your head up, look like you know where you're going. There are some times where I've been in like an airport in China where I got off out of my car and someone immediately came up to me, started talking to me in broken English. Um, like they were asking for directions or something. I'm like, I, I don't know, I'm trying to catch a flight. Followed me into the airport, still kept hounding me. I asked him politely to leave me alone. He still kept hounding me. And so finally I just kind of lost it and shouted, get the away from me. And it attracted everyone's attention around, so it looked at him and looked at me, and he left. He left me alone at that point. And that also happened to me in Paris when I was getting um, off at Gare du Nord. There are the gypsies that come and they're asking for money and the kids are pawing at you. And it's a distraction to try to pickpocket you. And being nice doesn't work. I had to yell, stop touching me, get away from me, and let them know I meant business so that they would leave me alone. As soon as you're nice in some of these situations, you look like a mark. So unfortunately, I'm not always nice in those situations, but it protects me. 
All right, so that's pretty much in a nutshell, things that I do to help keep me safe and my valuables safe while I'm traveling. Let me know in the comments below if there's something special you do that, or some tricky things that you do that help keep you and your valuables safe because all of us here in this community would love to know that. So put those in the comments below. There's a link in the description below for everything, including the suitcase by level eight and all of the other things that you've seen here. So you can go out and get yourself something that's going to make you feel a little more safe and secure on your next travels. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell because it's going to let you know when I put out another wacky packing video. Until the next time, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. I'll see you in the next video. All I can say is that thief was lucky he didn't walk in that room with me completely naked because you just can't unsee that. That would have traumatized him for life. So probably should have just been naked in that room. That probably would have scared the shit out of him. Yep, an Amazon Alexa. Hmm, I have a few skills that can help. Did you mean Amazon, Matt? No, but thank you, Alexa. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Alexa. Amazon you can stop Amazon. now. Stop, you Alexa. Alexa, stop. All right. I should probably create a whole bloopers reel just from this whole thing with her.